in this session we are going to see node name versus tag name in our previous few session we have understood what is node and also we have seen how to identify nodes and what are the types of nodes and also i told you there are only four important types of nodes which we will be studying in this dom session and there was a trick to remember that etc etc how we write that etc and after c we are just going to add d and the numbers will be 1 3 8 and 9 node is everything we have seen node is everything let it be element node or text node or comment node whatever it is everything is a node and for each of those nodes we are having a node value so based on that value we can understand what type of node it is okay, now suppose here i am just having basic html inside this i have just accessed this paragraph using get element by id i have just done control p so that i can print my paragraph but also i have written node type i will save this i will just refresh once now you can see inside this i am having paragraph and node type is one so one basically means e e is nothing but our element node now what node name is now if i just write here node name i will save this i will refresh once now you can see my node name is nothing but paragraph so better let me just open using live server i will open inspect now i'll save this now in my console you can see i am having this paragraph and also i am having the node name as p so these are nothing but the tags this is called as opening tag this is called as closing tag but in dom everything will be referred to as node so this will be our element node so when we write this node name we will be getting capital p okay our paragraph is this one so for this node name it is just going to return the capital p if i access h1 i will come to elements i will open this we have seen how to identify nodes i will just click on this h1 i am having dollar 0 so here i will write dollar 0 dot node name if i just write this you can see it is going to return me the capital letters whatever node it is it is just going to return me the capital letters this node name property is read only we cannot add anything or we cannot do any modifications it is just read only and the value whatever we have got it will be in capital elements basically it will be representing what element it is in capital letters using this node name we can only get what element it is but inside that element if you are having any attributes we cannot access that one so now inside this node name you can see i am having this para this is directly referring to my paragraph but using this we cannot access any attributes any property we cannot access after this node name if i just write here dot i can perform all the string operations but i cannot do extra step i cannot find extra things so this is our node name property now what is tag name let me just refresh let me just remove this and also i will be removing this now in place of this i'm just going to write tag name i will save this now you can see let me just remove for both node name and for this tag name i have got the same result that is capital p so now you might be having a question then what is the difference between them why i am getting same answer are they both different or same so once we get the same answer most people will be thinking these are same they are going to return the same result so these are same and it will not be having any difference just think by yourself if there is no difference then why we will be having this two properties we have node name as well as we have this tag name so the only difference is using node name we can access all the nodes 
when you tell all the nodes it means element node it means comment node text node as well as document node every node it can access but inside this tag name we can access only the tags tags are referred to as element node so using this tag name we can only access the element node now if i just come here i will come to my elements i will just click on h1 now here i am going to write dollar zero dot node name it is going to give me h1 again i will come to elements now here is my comment node i will come as soon as i hit enter wherever i am having dollar zero you can see it is going to return me the comment node it will return element node comment node text node as well as it will return document node but the same thing if i just write like this tag name you can see what result i am getting i am getting undefined so basically whenever we are using tag name we are only limited to element nodes we can only access element node we cannot access any other node comment node text node document node we cannot access using tag name but both can be used for element node and both will be returning the same result so this is the basic difference between node name and tag name suppose if you want to access text node or comment node or document node then you can go with node name or if you want to access only the element nodes then you can go with tag name but most of the people will be thinking why should we use tag name if we are having if we are getting all the properties all the nodes we can access using node name then why should we using this tag name it completely depends on you which property you want to use but according to me whenever you want to access element you can use node name yes definitely we are getting access to all the nodes for element node also we can use node name because it will be giving lot of consistency we are using different browsers to run our program so it will be giving lot of consistency so you can use node name property but this is the basic difference between node name and tag name which you have to understand using node name we can access all the nodes but using tag name by the name itself you can understand tags are nothing but our elements so using this tag name we can only access our element nodes for rest all if we try to access we will get the result as undefined i hope you understood the differences between node name and tag name next we will see what is the difference between html collection and node list